There's a lot to love about Lightning Experience. And now, there's a way to spread the love and knowledge to users through in-app guidance prompts. Prompts can be used to onboard and train users, highlight recent configuration changes or org news, and introduce new features. You can use prompts for anything you can think up. Let's say we're the admin of an org rolling out Lightning Experience. Since using list view features can be a huge productivity booster, we want to make sure our users know about them. From Setup and Lightning Experience, enter In-App Guidance in the Quick Find box, then select In-App Guidance. To create a new prompt, click Add Prompt. This opens a new browser tab. An authoring bar appears at the top of the page. This is your home base when adding, previewing, and editing prompts. It tells you what page you're on and any other prompts on the page, and what to do next. The authoring bar sticks around while you navigate through the current app or switch to another app. Let's go to the page where we want to add our prompt. We're going to choose Account Home in the Sales app since that's a popular place for our users. Let's click Add Prompt to save our choice. Now comes the fun part. You're going to customize your new prompt. First, choose a type of prompt. Since our message is short and sweet, we're going to choose the floating prompt. Let's select where to position it. We want the prompt to be close to the List View pin feature. So we're going to choose bottom left. If you only want to show the prompt to certain users, use permissions to restrict who sees it. We're going to keep it so everyone can see it. Now comes the writing part. Embrace your inner copywriter and draft a short but impactful content and calls to action. Our prompt is going to talk about some of the cool things you can do for list views then link to an informative trailhead unit about it. So let's add a title, body, button labels, and URL where the button takes the user. To add an action button, toggle on under action button. In the next step, we specify a start and optionally a stop date. This allows you to create prompts in advance and have them ready to go on critical dates. Since List Views is already set up and ready, we can keep the start date as is so the prompt appears today. Next, we decide if this prompt appears only once or is recurring. We're going to set it to two reoccurrences with a week apart. Note that if a user acknowledges the prompt by clicking the action button you added, they will not be shown the prompt again even if you've scheduled additional occurrences. This last step is just for you. Name and add a description so you can easily identify the prompt on the setup page later. Let's save our work and switch to preview mode. You're taken back to the page with the authoring bar. Confirm that everything looks great and that the placement works on the page. If you notice something to fix, click Edit. Our new prompt looks great and is ready for prime time. Let's click Done. Once users start seeing your prompt, you can track its impact by looking at the lifetime views and completes, which is the percentage of users who've clicked the action button, if there was one. Prompts are a great way to reach out to users in their workspace for news, updates, and best practices. You can learn more about prompts and other types of custom help and assistance in Salesforce Help. Or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.